Hey, it's JR. I uh, just want to give everybody an update on what's going on with us here uh, in Hungary as we serve Eastern Europe and Russia. Uh, we have a few things happening that I think are uh, worth talking about. Throughout the summer, I have a pretty large project I'll be working on, uh, Lord willing, finishing uh, for the fall. And that is our campus team in Lviv, Ukraine, has a really nice system that they use to track how they interact with students. Um, but it's all done on paper or through spreadsheets. And what we want to do is make it a little more automated, put it online, give it some new features, and so add what the staff can do with the system, but actually make it easier for them to use. They spend less time on administration, get more power from the tools they have, and uh, just in general, get to spend more time on ministry and focus better on making sure that they're meeting the needs of the students uh, where they are. Um, this month in June, the kids are wrapping up school right now this week, and they're pretty excited about that, of course. Uh, later this month, the girls will head to Croatia for a week to go to a missionary kid camp, an MK camp there, and we're really thankful that they got that opportunity. Uh, they'll be with other missionary kids from around the area and spending a week having a lot of fun and learning about their walk with the Lord, and we're excited for that. Uh, like I said, I'll be working on a large project throughout that whole time, but I will take a break in July. Uh, the family will all drive down to Albania, and we're going to spend probably about 10 days there in Albania doing an English language camp like we did here in Hungary last summer, and spending time uh, sharing our native language with some Albanians who want to learn English better, and at the same time having the opportunity to have spiritual discussions with them share them about Jesus Christ and about how they can have a personal relationship with Him. So we're really excited about that. That's something fun for us to get to do. And it's really looking forward to it. So we do these English camps all over the place in the 20 countries that make up our area. So if you ever want to be a part of one, let us know. We'll be happy to hook you up. Um, and then we'll come back. I'll keep working. And before you know it, it's going to be August and everything starts over again. Ingrid goes back into the new school year, kids go back to school and everything just starts happening. Um, I do want to point out one thing. Uh, some of our students in Odessa, Ukraine made a pretty cool video, I think, talking about uh, the movements they want to see built on their campus. They did it completely on their own. No staff were involved in making this video. It's, I think, a pretty exciting and fun thing to watch. Uh, you can see it in our Facebook page, which if you're watching this video there, it should be like right down below this one. Um, or you can catch it at our blog at the peckfamily.us. Uh, either way, I really encourage you to check that out. Now, at the end, they say, I think they ask, will you join us or uh, something along those lines. I just watched it a few minutes ago. My brain's blanking out. But uh, I'm going to try to get a hold of some people there and find out uh, if you're watching this, say, in the U.S., if you're one of our partners there, uh, how could you do that? And they're asking for some help, and I think it's a pretty exciting thing. Maybe there's some good ways we could do that. So I'll try to find out and let you know uh, through these same channels. And so I hope your summer is going to be exciting and full of neat opportunities like ours is. And uh, if there's any way we can pray for you or be a part of uh, knowing about what's going on with you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Give us an email. Drop us a message on Facebook. And thanks. We couldn't do what we do without uh, all of you out there that pray for us and help keep us going. Bye.